Okay, so here we have this one. It says a stone A is projected vert vertically upwards at a speed of 12 meter per second from a height H. So here you have your height, then here you have a ball, then your ball is projected upwards. So uh, it says above the ground. Ignore the effect of air resistance. So here all of these things is going to be a free fall. If you don't know what's a free fall, can watch my videos where I explain if free fall. 3.1. Calculate the time taken for, for the stone A to reach the maximum height. So here is the is the height where the stone was projected. So stone is projected upwards and reach this height here. So the velocity at this point, we are going to call it final because we are considering one direction motion from this point to that point. Okay, so velocity final is going to be zero as always. Acceleration is always pointing downwards. So I prefer to take down as negative always. So acceleration is going to be minus 9.8 if you don't want to write direction. Why? Because we are taking down, we are taking down as negative. So if we are taking down as negative, we are going to have minus 9.8. Okay, so here V initial, are we given that a stone is projected vertically upwards at a speed of 12. So V initial is 12 meter per second. Since it's going up, it's going to be positive. Okay, so you have your formulas. You can go to formula sheet. You'll find them. Then we are going to say you have a V final, which is true. We have a V initial, which is true. We have a, a acceleration which is true and then we're asked to calculate the change in time this is what we're asked to calculate okay so you have your formulas you have a three of them v final is equal to v initial plus a change in time this one consider change in time and we have another one which say the change in displacement is v initial change in time plus half a change in t squared so you don't have change in displacement you can use this one so you have to use this one here so you will use that one there okay so now let's do it let's do it we're going to say since it's there v final is equal to v initial plus a change in time v final is zero v initial is 12 plus a is minus 9.8 and change in time is just change in t you take this to the other side you have minus 12 is equal to minus 8.9 change in t what's change in t then you can just divide this both 12 by 9.8 okay let's bring up our calculator then you bring up your calculator here which is going to be 12 divided by 9.8 okay so it's 1.22 so that's your that's your time so it's 1.22 1.22 seconds okay so that's your time and then it says at the same instant that the a stone a is projected upwards stone b is thrown vertically downwards from the same height at a known speed v referring to the diagram you can see when this stone a is thrown upwards this stone b is projected downwards so it says when stone a reaches its maximum height the speed of a stone B is this, is 3V. So when that one reaches the maximum height after, in other ways, the mean, the, 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 the one to tell you that when stone A travel for time 1.2, 1.22, stone B reaches a velocity final of 3V. Okay, well, it's velocity initial, it's V, right? So... It say calculate the speed v with the with which stone b is thrown down that's okay so that's easy that's easy everyone can do it so since we're taking down it's negative taking down it's negative we're going to have for that one we are given v initial of that it's v and meter per second so it's going to be minus because we're taking down as negative and v final it's minus 3v meter per second and the change in time 
since it's reaching this velocity final after the stone a traveled 1.22 so this is going to be the change in time so we know what say g g is given by minus 9.8 okay meter per second then now just going to substitute still using the same formula say v final is v initial plus a change in time so v final it's minus 3v and v initial it's minus v plus what's a a is still minus 9.8 change in time 1.22 okay so here you take this to the other side and minus 3v plus v is going to be minus 2v which is equal to this and that is going to give you minus something so let's just do it uh, our calculated here then we say 9.8 9.8 times 1.22 which give us 11.95 so which is the same as 12 because this was coming from 12 remember so we can just say minus 2v is equal to minus 12 right so what's v v is equal to this divided by 2 which is 6 meter per second this was velocity initial that that was projected so where is it going to hang upwards or downwards decide where is it going upwards or downwards or if you are using if you are using this one here this is going to give you v of approximately 5.98 oh, 5 but this one in the same thing uh, so oh sorry so this is going to go down it's going downwards downwards okay then now let's move to to, to the next question so i think i, I copied somewhere here nope it's 3.2 yep it's 3.2 so let me wrap here 3.2 says calc uh, calculate the speed v okay this i did it at the instant stone a uh, passes the its initial position on its way down stone b hits the ground so here we have our question 3.3 says calculate the, the height h so also this one we must use our tactics to calculate it so it says let me pull this up a bit okay so we have a 3.3 .3 here it says uh, at an instant stone a passes its initial position on its way down stone b hits the ground okay so remember that we said we're going to take this from here so it's going up and then after that standing so when it's passing this point which is a stone a stone b already which was thrown from here this stone b already it's here it's here uh it's already here of, uh, this stone b it's already here so it that means after time this time remember that the time taken from this let's call this t1 and this change in t2 which is t1 is from here up to here and t2 is from there is from here up to here okay so this time this time from here to there and the time from there to here is the same so we're going to say the total change in time which is a t total is equal to change in time one plus change in time two and since they're the same these are given by two change in time one okay which the change in time one was 1.22 time taken from here to there is the same as the time taken from there to here so that's why we do this then when you multiply this by two you are going to get when you multiply that by two you're going to get 1.22 times 2 you're going to get 2.44 okay so if you get 2.44 uh, 
here you get 2.44 seconds okay so this is the time taken by stone b to reach the ground because they're saying that when stone a passes this position stone b already hits the ground so the change in time of b to travel that age is 2.44 seconds right so how can we do that then so we're going to do this uh, let me take this to here and then we're going to do this now we want to calculate the height age and then we're going to say the change in displacement oh sorry change in displacement is equal to v initial uh, change in time plus 1 over 2 acceleration change in time squared right so the change in displacement is h is what we're looking for so here we have h which v initial we got that previously was 6 since it's going down we're saying it's minus 6 and change in time is going to be 2.44 plus 1 over 2 uh, change in acceleration is going down it's minus 9.8 and change in time is 2.44 squared four squared so there's a squared there but uh i don't know out of space i'll just write it here so let me just take this okay so we're going to say h is equal to here you have uh that's all right that it's going to be minus six times 2.44 plus half minus 9.8 times 2.44 squared that's your displacement is height, height h okay so we can just bring up our calculator and do that okay Okay, so we have uh, we have uh, uh, minus six, minus six times two point four four, and then we have uh, minus because this is going to be minus the whole of this zero point five multiplied by nine point eight multiplied by two point four four squared multiplied by two point four four squared. So our answer is minus 43 height h. So we get our height h is equal to minus 43.81 meter. So since it's this is because what we are calculating here was changing displacement. So that's why you got it a negative. So a distance will never be a negative. So since this was a change in displacement, a displacement is a vector. So it can be negative or positive because it has a direction. But here height h is not a uh, displacement. Uh, it's, a, it's a distance. So we're going to say height h just for the 3.81 meter. Okay, so we're done with this one. Then you collect your marks and you move away then let's go to the next one 3.4 says sketch the velocity time graph for the complete motions of stone a and b on the same set of axes label your graphs for stone a and b clear show the following on the graphs so what you must do just have to do this so for stone A, since stone A was projected vertically upwards, so here you have this is going to be velocity, which is calculated in meter per second, and this is going to be time, change in time. This is just going to be time, which is calculated in seconds, right? So here, the time taken for the stone A to reach the maximum height. So we know that the time taken by stone A to reach the maximum height was 2.22. The velocity with which stone b is thrown downwards okay so that velocity was given we know that was uh minus six was minus six because we said we take down as negative four k so just show the things that you're told don't show the things that you're not told to do so here you're going to have these uh which is minus minus six okay so since this was going down so what's happening is like the velocity was 
increasing so the velocity was increasing so if velocity was increasing how your graph is going to look like how your graph is going to look like for stone b let me just pull this a bit up so that it can be clear here six minus six then it's like this one because it's increasing the reason is like this is because it's increasing so if it's increasing it's going to be like that okay right so it's just going to be like that let me just throw this clear bit just going to be like this that this is for b so now and remember that it took like 2.22 to reach that height to, do, to reach this position uh it's not the same as this one so but we are not told to show that and then for time for stone a since it was going upwards first so if it's going upwards the velocity was decreasing so what's going upwards the velocity decreasing at this point since it's a turning point the velocity was zero and then after that the velocity started to increase 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 up to a certain point you see so this is how you can draw your graph and then you collect your index wow that's amazing okay so let's take a break guys going to come back and do the rest of questions